Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside the Cage, where we bring you the latest and exciting updates of UFC. Israel Adesanya wants fifth fight with Alex Pereira with one major condition. Do you remember the epic showdown between Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira? It was one of the biggest rivalries in the combat sports world, you know? Earlier this year, Adesanya finally got his redemption when he defeated Pereira in the UFC octagon. It was a long-awaited victory for the last style bender, who had struggled to overcome Poatan in their previous encounters. Moreover, in their previous three battles, Pereira had emerged victorious twice. He was knocking out Adesanya, and even then taking his UFC title in the process. It seemed like their rivalry was destined to continue with such an uneven record. But guess what? Adesanya, with the UFC belt back in his possession, wasted no time declaring an end to their sporting feud. However, the possibility of a rematch between Adesanya and Pereira is still tantalizing. Will we witness another chapter in their epic rivalry? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the clash between Adesanya and Pereira will forever be etched in the annals of combat sports history. I don't keep score. I settle them. Adesanya told reporters after UFC 287, now it's settled. In a recent interview on the MMA Hour, Adesanya dropped a bombshell. He revealed that another fight with his Brazilian opponent might be closer than we think. Now, Pereira is currently set to face former champion Jan Blakiewicz. And if Pereira can come out on top in that bout, he'll likely become a serious contender for the light heavyweight title. Just imagines the stakes and the intensity of the fight. If he wins the belt at 205, I'll do it again, Adesanya explained. But if not, I think he's done with it. I'm done with it. I think everyone else wants to see it, but we've moved on. If I were to bet money on it, no, I don't think it happens. 205, I've been there. It's hard. If he wins the 205 belts, though, they might give him a fast track, as they did with me. And then they're going to have a magic, crazy, f kicking epic fight at 205 with me and him. That will be us for the fifth time. In a recent interview, he made it clear that the number of times he fights Alex Pereira doesn't matter to him. He said, and I quote, Even if we fought another ten times and I lost all ten, that's not important. Whoa, man, his confidence. What truly matters to Adesanya is only proving that he can win that particular bout. You see, he came so close to victory in their previous encounters but fell short. It's that feeling of unfinished business that fuels his motivation. Ultimately, it's not about the numbers or the records for Adesanya. It's about that one crucial win, that defining moment where he can prove himself. So let's support Adesanya as he continues to chase victory. Whether it takes one more fight or several, we know that he won't rest until he accomplishes his goal. But I just know I can beat this guy. I put so much pressure on myself that last camp. I went to some place. I'm never going to let my story be written like this, like, oh, he's the greatest ever, but he could never beat this guy. So I made sure to put it on myself to beat this guy, and I did. Conor McGregor backs John Gotti III in Floyd Mayweather fiasco, The War Is On. Here we go again with Conor McGregor. Recently, Conor McGregor has jumped into the middle of a brewing battle between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and John Gotti III. Now, let me fill you in on the details. On Sunday, Mayweather and Gotti faced off in an exhibition boxing match. But here's where things took a wild turn. When referee Kenny Bayless stopped the bout, a full-on brawl erupted between the entourages of the two fighters. In the aftermath of the incident, Gotti didn't hold back. He declared Mayweather his enemy for life, and even called for some backup from McGregor. And guess what? The Notorious himself seemingly answered the call. McGregor took to Twitter to show his support for Gotti. However, it seems he later deleted the tweet. But the internet never forgets, right? I back the Gottis. The war is on. However, we all remember their epic crossover boxing match in 2017, aptly named The Money Fight. At this time, McGregor gave it his all, but ultimately lost by TKO in the 10th round. It was a spectacle that had the world buzzing. Since then, these two have had quite a roller coaster relationship. They've gone back and forth between respectful comments and fiery trash talk. And guess what? Both of them have hinted at a potential rematch in the future. I mean, who wouldn't want to see round two? But a rumor was spotted. It claims that McGregor's next opponent could be none other than Michael Chandler, 
the former Bellator lightweight champion. Talk about a marquee matchup. Both fighters have already made a name for themselves and have a history as coaches on The Ultimate Fighter. For now, let's focus on McGregor's MMA comeback and the exciting clash with Chandler that awaits us. It's a thrilling time to be a fight fan. Islam Makachev doesn't want BMF title for the bums, predicts winner of boxing match. Let's catch the latest buzz surrounding the BMF title and Islam Makachev's take on it. Strap in, because this one's interesting. Makachev, the current holder of the lightweight championship, has made it clear that he has no interest in the BMF, baddest mother FR title. He believes that the UFC only books fighters for the BMF title who aren't capable of winning a real championship. Shots fired. Now let's rewind a bit. It's been nearly four years since we saw the initial BMF title matchup between Horsh Masvidal and Nate Diaz. Since then, the belt has been in purgatory. But hold on, because the UFC is bringing it back for the Dustin Poirier versus Justin Gaethje lightweight rematch at UFC 291 on July 29th. Exciting stuff. Not only will Poirier and Gethia be battling for the BMF strap, but their fight could also serve as a potential title eliminator in the stacked 155-pound division. The stakes are high. If Dustin Poirier beats Justin Gethia and he's going to fight next for the lightweight title, he's going to come with BMF title? I don't want this AST. Makachev said in an interview on Daniel Cormier's YouTube channel, BMF. What is this? This belt's for the bums. First time who fought for this belt, Masvidal and Nate Diaz. Two people who never can be champions, you know? They give him some belt and say, be happy, fight for BMF. Whereas Islam Makachev has made it clear that he has no interest in the BMF title. His focus remains on defending his official championship. And there's a possibility of a rematch against Charles Oliveira at UFC 294 in October. Dana has to stop this, Makachev said. After this, please tell him to stop. Honestly, if someone gives me this belt tomorrow, I don't want this ST. And that's it. I can beat these guys easy. I think Poirier wins, Makachev said. What Gaethje have for Poirier? Poirier has good boxing better than Gaethje. And that's it. It's going to be a boxing match. Dustin Poirier's UFC opportunity roasted by reigning champion. Now the end is all about the upcoming clash for the BMF title and the reigning lightweight champ's perspective on it. This one's intriguing. Dustin Poirier, the former interim UFC lightweight champion, is set to compete for the BMF title next month. But Islam Makachev, the current king of the 155-pound division, has absolutely no respect for that ceremonial belt. The Diamond will be going head-to-head -head with Justin Gaethje, and they're set to headline UFC 291 in Salt Lake City, Utah, on July 29th. This is the second time the BMF belt will be up for grabs. Previously, Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz battled it out for the strap at UFC 244, with Masvidal emerging victorious due to a doctor's stoppage. Now, Masvidal, who retired in April after a string of losses, held the BMF title despite never defending it. But here's the thing, the fight isn't solely about the BMF strap. According to the official UFC rankings, Poirier holds the number two spot at 155 pounds, while Gaethje sits at num three. A convincing win in this matchup could potentially solidify either the Diamond or Gaethje as Makachev's next opponent. If Dustin Poirier beats Justin Gaethje and he's going to fight next for the lightweight title, he's going to come with the BMF title. Makachev asked while speaking with Daniel Cormier in a video posted to DC's YouTube channel on June 12th. He's going to come to Abu Dhabi with BMF title? I don't want this S, Makachev continued. BMF, what is this? This belt's for the bums. First time who fought for this belt, Masvidal and Nate Diaz. The people who never can be champions, you know? They give him some belts. Guys, be happy, fight for BMF. Although some exciting news on Islam Makachev's upcoming plans is discussed, while it's not official yet, the word on the street is that his second title defense could be happening in October at the Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi. How awesome is that? All right, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching till the end. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated about our future videos. See you at the next one. Until then, goodbye.